speed limit state, or if it did, I think it was like a hundred and some mile an hour, mile an hour speed limit. And that was cool. I, I was, I was cruising fast through the desert, loved it. Then all of a sudden the inside of my car and in front of the car and side of the car, it all lit up brighter than daylight. Seriously. And I, I mean, I could see just like, wow, this is extremely bright. First thing in my mind is, okay, I, I know I'm speeding, but hey, there's no speed limit. But hey, maybe a helicopter, you know, a police helicopter, uh, whatever. They're, I'm going to be stopped uh, for whatever. Uh, so I, I pulled off the side of the road. My wife uh, was scared. She wouldn't get out of the car. Because I'm telling you, it was really bright. Now, have you guys ever been out in the desert at night? The sound of a desert is unique. I got out of the car. I stood there. And it was maybe, it's funny, it could have maybe only been three seconds or it could have been ten seconds. I have no idea on time. But it was really bright. It hurt my eyes. It gave me a headache. And as fast as it came, it was gone. Not a single sound. No helicopter blades, no jet noise, no nothing. It was just gone. And no, it wasn't a big balloon. I guarantee that. And it was the scariest, next to Bigfoot, encounter I ever had in my life. Was it a UFO from another planet? I don't know. I do know that there was some military bases probably within 90, 100 miles from there. Maybe it was something from the military, but that was in the mid-70s. I don't think, I just don't think in the 70s, the military was that uh, advanced to have anything like that. But that's my encounter with a UFO. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys have had some strange encounters. Other than, like I said, uh, back in the early 2000s, I took a pair of infrared binoculars home and stargazed and started seeing some strange things. Nowadays, you can actually go on to eBay or Amazon for about a hundred and a half. You can get yourself a monocular infrared. And I really, if you're into like stargazing, hey, put your telescope away for a couple of weeks and get yourself. Uh, something infrared okay and and look and, and see what you see if you don't see some weird things out there in the sky and i'm not talking about asteroids or comets or or the space station i'm talking about things that's moving straight coming to almost a dead stop and turning 90 degrees and going another direction to a certain point and then vanishing. You'll see things like that. You know, how can I say it? There's things out there we just can't explain. And that's what we do at Night Dreams Talk Radio. We try to bring guests on uh, in the paranormal that have, well, experiences and things like black-eyed children, vampires. Do vampires really exist? Yeah, I I do believe vampires exist, but not the blood-sucking ones. Of course, there is occults out there that do drink human blood. But a true uh, vampire, I look at it, they they don't take your blood. They they take whatever is inside of you, and they, they, they take your power from you, your inner power. And that's how they rob it from you. So, yeah, I do believe there's a form of vampires. Black-eyed children, you know, if you believe in the Bible, you know there's such thing as demons and and hell. One thing that's always got me kind of really scared, and I don't know if Art Bell did this when he he passed on, but uh, Lear uh, got on his show one time and told uh, Art Bell that don't go for the light when you die or if you have a near-death experience, that is what they want you to do. Go to the darkness. The, the light 
is a trick. So it was like the feeling like, if, well, if you go to the light, you might be going to hell. But if you go to darkness, you'll be going to heaven. So that really confused Art Bell, you know, and then when I started looking at it logically, do I know which way I want to go when I pass on? Do I go to the light or do I go, well, to the darkness? Well, that's a decision I'm going to have to make when I pass on. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be, when I was a kid, I, I thought I would live forever. Well, when you get a certain age, you realize you're not going to live forever. And, you know, the awakening and all this stuff that Art Bell used to talk about, I do feel that time is speeding up and we don't realize it because we don't know it. But I do think that when I was a kid and when you were a kid, do you remember like when you were in school? You were in first grade and you didn't want to be in first grade. You wanted to be in third grade because everybody looked down at you because you were in first grade. And it took forever, forever in your lifetime to get into the third grade. And the same thing to the sixth grade and then into high school. And then when you got 20 years old, you couldn't wait to be 21 for you could go buy those, well, buy that beer, for example. You, you couldn't wait. And it took forever. Now, it seems like time is speeding up. Maybe it's because my age, but, you know, a month to me was a long time when I was younger. It took, a month took forever to me. And now, a month goes by like a week. I mean, I can be sitting here just thinking, oh, it was June 1st. But now... What is it? It's the 18th, going on the 19th. And it just went by. So, I mean, is things speeding up? Maybe it is, and we just don't realize it. So, our, our, our lives, are they shortening up? They could be, because everything could be speeding up. And we just don't realize it. We don't comprehend it. Yeah, you look at your clock and the clock still ticks off one minute, two minutes, five minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. But is it really true time? Remember, we made up that time. Before clocks, we didn't have no way to keep track of time. But things seem to be moving fast. Anyway, you've been listening to Night Dreams Talk Radio. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. We're going to be having a guest tomorrow on UFOs. And then, no, it doesn't stop. Then Wednesday, we got another great guest on UFOs. And does it stop? No. Next week, again, we got another great guest on UFOs. Now we come up to the first week or so of July. Steve Bassett. UFOs. Well, why? Because it's a hot uh, topic right now so is Bigfoot but right now UFOs are probably more critical than ever because the world events you know I told a lot of my friends back two months ago when when Trump mentioned about creating a space force my gut feeling was then something something was going on and now we got a space force everybody Take care, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good evening.